what's going on guys? Your boy is switch here coming out of Cinema 4D tutorial and uh, it's going to be actually starting up a new series soon. Uh, it's going to be starting with this video right here. It's basically add-on effects or just cool things that I make in Cinema 4D and that I just never like bring out to you guys because I just never made a render out of it or made a speed art or something or a tutorial on it. So besides just leaving it in like my folder and never ever to be opening it again, I decided to make tutorials out of this, so uh, maybe it's not going to be as simple as this one. Next time, maybe it'll be like any like random random thing I just randomly create and I just can't do anything with it, but maybe just give ideas to you guys and allow you guys to use it. So this is actually today's first video is going to be pretty simple, or basic I should say. And it's basically making, uh, making icicles in Cinema 4D. So it's pretty simple, we're going to just, you know, unhide this or hide this. It's really quick too. So uh, what you want to go to do is so go to your solid shapes and you want to go to your cone. And you want to go to your bottom radius, and you want to change it from, you know, it's all per, uh, preference. I'm going to make it 15, because I want it skinny at the bottom. And uh, now what I'm going to do is just want to Alt-G, or right-click uh, Group Objects, so you can group the object together. And then you want to go to MoGraph Effector Random, and you just want to click on your random, go to your deformer, and change it to point, and then change your parameter for X, Y, and Z, all to 25. So in 25, I missed tab right there. And now what you want to do is just drop your random inside your group that you just created with the cone. And make sure the random is on top of the cone. And uh, now you want to just click on your random, go to your effector, and change your strength to 100 to 15. And then basically drop your material on top, and then there you go. So, uh, you know, like I said, this tutorial is really, really basic, really simple. But it's one of those kind of things. Uh, I have a render here to show you guys. That, you know, it's something that's unseen. Like, you've probably never seen this render before. And uh, here it is. It's basically like a really cool effect you can see when it's all rendered out. So uh, maybe you guys, you know, maybe like I said, it's not going to be this simple next time. Uh, you know, it's just me messing around. And uh, yeah, so yeah, this material, by the way, is from Exxon's 1.2, uh, 1.2K material pack. And uh, just in case you wanted to know. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this new series. And uh, see you guys later. So let's get you out. Peace.